Hey everybody, it's Cindy with Monarch Mom DIY. I am back today with two farmhouse look for less DIYs. I am doing my version of two items I saw on Kirkland's website and I'm going to show you how you can make them for less. project we're using two of these glass seashell bottles, two of the thick wood circles from Dollar Tree, some white sand, some 12 inch wooden dowels, and some brown antique wax from Waverly. And let me show you what we're going to make our version of. This brass and wood hourglass from Kirkland. Theirs is $49.99 and I'm going to show you how you can make your own for much less. I was excited to find these new thick wood circles from one of my local Dollar Trees that is now carrying the expanded um, Crafters Square items. But if you can't find these, you can use two of the circle plaques either from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, any of those places. So taking some of the spackle from Dollar Tree, I'm just using my finger to push it down in that hole. Now, like I showed you, these circles are like three quarters of an inch thick so you want to make sure you get it in there and then flip it over after you scrape off the excess to make sure you have it on the other side as well. Here I'm showing you that I'm using some Goo Gone to loosen up and then remove the stickers from the circles as well. Once that is done, I'm using one of my sanding blocks from Dollar Tree just to smooth out some of the edges. They are a little rough on this circle when you first purchase it from Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to use my antique wax on the two circles and four of these 12 inch dowels. These are from Michaels, but you can now get those at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm actually going to stain four dowels, but I end up only using two. So if you haven't used this antique wax before, it's really nice. You kind of just brush it on like paint and then you wipe it, wipe off the excess with a paper towel or a rag and it's really cool because it shows the wood grain and it just makes it look really beautiful. So I'm just going to do both sides of my dowels and it's not super wet when you wipe off the excess. So then I'm just going to stand them up in that jar until they're completely dry. Of course, if you don't have this antique wax stain, you can always water down some brown paint and get essentially the same effect. I just love how it looks. Now these are two of the seashell um, bottles. I liked them for their shape. They were tall and skinny, but especially the neck being narrow, I thought would be good for making an hourglass. So here I'm taking this white sand. I don't put all of the bag in there. I'd say I fill it up almost to the top of the lip there, but I'm going to take my fix all adhesive once I add a little bit more sand and go around the mouth of the bottom bottle that I put the sand in and then I'm going to attach the other bottle on the top and I'm going to let this stand overnight until that glue is really good and secure. And once it's dry you can see I can flip the bottles over and the sand runs down. Now I'm going to put my hourglass together with my wood circles. I'm first going to put some of the fix-all on the bottom of one bottle and glue it to the center of one of my wood circles. 
Here I'm taking the dowel because I am going to need to cut a little bit off. It's just a little bit short of 12 inches um, with the two bottles together. So using my little um, saw knife thing and my miter box, I'm just cutting a little bit off of there. And then I will do the same to the second dowel. I will put a link in the description box for this miter box and knife. It is under $12 and has come in very handy for cutting small pieces of wood like this. So I'm just going to use my Gorilla Hot Glue a little bit on the end of each dowel and stand it up and just hold it until the glue is in place. And I will do that for both of my dowels. Once I'm sure those are dry and in place, I'm going to put more Fix-All on the bottom of the bottle and then hot glue on the dowels and center my second wood circle on top there and let it dry. I did decide I wanted to add just a little bit of jute cord there in the middle where the two bottles come together just for one more little farmhouse touch. So taking some of my jute twine from Walmart, I'm securing it just with a little bit of hot glue. And then you'll see that I will um, twist it or wrap it around the center of the bottles. And here's what it looks like with the jute twine around the center there. And here's one more look at the hourglass on my mantle, how it would look displayed, and flip it over and watch the sand go down. For the second look for less project, we're using this wooden circle plaque from Walmart, a candle stand I had on hand, two wire hanging baskets from Dollar Tree, some jute twine and chalk paint. This is what I found on Kirkland's website for $16.99. However, it is much smaller than the version I will be making today. So the first thing we need to do with our hanging baskets is remove the tag and then also remove these three metal clips that are holding the hanging chain to the basket. The other thing I thought about doing was trying to remove these little hooks that the clips were attached to, but it is very thick wire and I decided just to leave them. They weren't going to be a problem for my project. So I'm getting both baskets ready um, for the next step. So here I'm putting one basket inside the other and just trying to figure out how to best put them together. Um, next, I'm using black zip ties, which I've been using these quite a bit lately. They are amazing if you've never used zip ties before. Um, try them out. I'm just going around the bottom inside smaller circle to secure the two baskets tightly together so that it looks like one basket. And then I will also go around the top edge and do the same thing, just putting them as many as I think I need to secure them. And then also I kind of slide them over to one side so that they're as hidden as much as possible. Mm -hmm. 
Next step is just to clip off the excess and then I like to put a little dot of hot glue just so it won't possibly slide out. And then I did decide I needed just a few more on that bottom circle just to make the base really, really secure. To dress my bowl up and give it more of that farmhouse look, I did decide I was going to wrap my Walmart jute cord around that top edge of the bowl. And then I am also going to go around that smaller circle at the bottom. So here you can see I just started it with a little dab of hot glue and you have to cut off a length of the string because obviously you can't feed that huge roll through these spaces in the bowl. So this did take a little bit of time, but I was really happy I did it because I thought it just gave it um, so much more character than just the black wire. Plus it helped hide those hooks or those little loops where the hanging hooks were attached. And when I was wrapping over those little arches or those little loops, I did use some hot glue. I'm gonna show you here specifically. Um, I'm going to, you can't see it, but I'm putting hot glue on that metal there. And then I kind of go back and forth, top left to bottom right. And then I'm gonna switch and go top right to bottom left, kind of in a crisscross until I get that last piece to cover the very top of the loop, secure it with a little bit more hot glue, and then once it's in place, you can cut off the excess. So here, like I said, I'm going to do the same thing around that smaller circle at the bottom, again, to help cover up my zip ties and also to give a little bit more surface to then attach this to the base that we're going to create. To make the pedestal for our bowl, I'm using this Walmart wood plaque, which is just under seven inches. It's less than a dollar in the craft section. But instead of having it just flat on the table, I decided to add this um, ceramic, I guess it is, uh, candle holder that I've had in my stash from a thrift store for quite a while finally found something to use it for. So I'm giving both the candlestick holder and the wood circle a coat or two of my white Waverly chalk paint. And then I am going to take these once they're dry and also spray them with a matte finish clear sealant just because it is going to be in the kitchen and with fruit, you know, if there's any moisture or anything like that. So Waverly chalk paint and then clear matte sealing spray. And once the clear spray is completely dry, I'm going to use a combination of our Fix All Adhesive from Dollar Tree and my Gorilla Hot Glue to first attach my wood circle to the candle holder. And then we'll do the same thing to attach our wire bowl to the wood circle. And like I said, the last step is to attach 
the bowl to the wood circle. Now, if you're concerned about the Fix-All adhesive being in contact with any food that you might put in here, just use hot glue, or you could always put a small circle barrier of some sort, something clear maybe in the bottom of your basket. But here is what it looks like with our finished product. I love how it turned out. And here again, I just threw some fruit in the bowl just to kind of show you what it looks like. It is rather large and can fit a lot of fruit in it. So there you go. Thanks so much for joining me today for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments which of the two projects you liked the best. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks so much. Bye.